Hey Metal Maniacs, this is Fredrik Johansson of Reforia and you are thrashing it up on Dave's of this Metal Meltdown on Metal Messiah Radio. Are you ready, Metal Maniacs? Please help me welcome to Metal Messiah Radio, hailing from Sweden, from a new thrash metal band, Reforia, here to talk about the band's upcoming debut offering, Exorcism, being released on the 23rd of February, 2024, through Metalville Records. Joining us, we have drummer Frederick Johansson. Yes, hello. Great to be here on the show. Thank, thank you uh, for coming on the Metal Meltdown, Frederick, and uh, thank you for this opportunity. Just want to make sure, did I say your last name correctly? It was correct. I have checked out your latest release, or your upcoming release, Exorcism. It's a really good, uh, catchy thrash metal offering. I'd like to know, when did Reforia actually form? Thank you, thank you. Um, well, actually, the, the story goes back like 15 years or so, you can say, because uh, me and uh, the guitar player Marcus, 
we have actually been friends since we were four, learning how to play instruments together, formed a band in 2007 called Tuck From Hell. Uh, we released an album called Trashing. And well, things look pretty good for us, but uh, then, uh, then other things happened in our lives. Um, he went on to study on the university classical music to become a music teacher. And uh, Petrus, the other guitar player, went on to play with Civil War. And uh, yeah, I got kids and so on. But we have always, we have continued jamming, writing songs. And over the years, we have collected a bunch of, yeah, according to us, killer trash tunes, you know. And uh, uh, our old vocalist, he wasn't committed enough to do it because of his life uh, situation to record the album with us. And then we uh, we talked to Nils Patrick and he said, yeah, I'm, I'm up to do it. And uh, we tried with a couple of songs and now we are now we are in like last year or something. I see. Uh, yeah. So we we came up with the name Reforia, recorded 10 songs for Exorcism, and uh, some of the material were written a lot of years ago, but we think it's still fresh. You know, it's old school metal, but with some, um, some modern touch. And uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of the short uh, story of the band. Got signed to Metalville and well, now here we are. Uh, released our first single yesterday um, when we are doing this interview. Um, and uh, yeah, we're pretty happy with the album. Congratulations on your debut offering. A really great job. And how did the band get its name? How did Reforia become Reforia? Uh, well, I think the, the name, you know, it was just a play with words. We are right. playing, you know, guitar based music and riff driven songs. So I don't really know how we came up with it, but it was a play with words you know yeah 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 definitely i, I, I could see that euphoria and guitars yeah. you got euphoria very that's simple yeah, yeah yeah very cool very cool so let's mention the entire lineup you have nils patrick johansson on vocals he's a, a pretty i guess you could say legendary vocalist of astral doors and yeah, yeah. you and you have yourself who is also in it's other bands talk from hell and um with uh, Lion Share with Nils Patrick and on Nils Patrick solo albums. So maybe there's a, more Fredrik Johansson out there. It's it's a very common name in Sweden. Actually. It is. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. your last name, your surname is also. Yeah, it, it, yeah, yeah. Fredrik Johansson. Yes. And you also have Marcus. Is it Banks? Yeah. Yes, Marcus Banks. He's also called Polo. I don't know why, but that's what we call him, Polo. Polo. Uh, very interesting. Yes, he, and he, uh, yeah, he's a he's a guitar teacher here, and like I said, we have been friends. He's a really good, you know, riff guitarist. Um, not famous from from any bands. We were in Tuck from Hell together, and we also have um, Magnus Fredriksson on. Uh, guitars as well and as the situation is now we're gonna you know grab a bass player when we're going out uh, playing live so actually marcus plays the bass on the album as well right right yes, right, yes. Yeah. Yes, patrick and is, has also been in civil war and uh, and lion share and some other bands wuthering heights i noticed that as well and you have magnus Fredriksen on guitars as well yes yes He's also a guitar teacher, actually, <laughs> and um, yeah, he, he plays a lot, practices a lot. Uh, he has not been out, you know, playing with so many bands, as far as I know. We have uh, been friends for a while as well, but so we are, yes, it's a, it's a mix in the band. Uh, yeah, I see that. And what studio was Exorcism recorded in, and who was responsible for the mixing and mastering? Yeah. Uh, Actually, we all have our own studios, like often nowadays. Uh, yes, you know, very so popular. 
we are, yes, we have recorded all the stuff ourselves, and uh, the process went uh, very smooth, and uh, uh, we um, we did like you know we wrote one song and then we recorded it and so on. Uh, so we were, then we went on to the next one, and um, then we actually hired Martin Haglund. He played uh, guitar for Astral Doors in like ten years or something. He has been producing and mixing bands for, I don't know, 20 years maybe. Uh, not really sure about what bands, but uh, a lot of uh, lo local stuff over here, and we think that it's really good. Uh, he mixed one of Astral Doors albums, now when I, I remember now. And uh, yeah, we think it's, uh, he got the sound just as we wanted, you know, heavy, but still, uh, um the guitars are cutting through and so forth so yeah, yeah. We we're happy with the result congratulations on that and the writing process who's responsible mostly for the melodies and, and also for the lyrical aspects i mean you you, you said the, the band's been around with the, the music's been around for a while not all of it though i'm sure but uh who's the main writers in the band yeah the music it's uh, me and Marcus. Either me or Marcus comes up with an idea, some riffs that uh, fit together, you know. Uh, I uh, am uh, I'm a pretty lousy guitarist myself, but, but I can come up with ideas, you know, and then he makes it ten times cooler than my idea was from the start. <laughs> and then we arrange the songs together. Uh, some vocal lines were written by me uh, for a lot of years ago but m most uh, vocal lines and lyrics are written by Patrick uh, in more recent time and uh, yeah he works really fast you know so he's, he's been doing this for so long so it was a very easy process with that you know we could send him a song on like a tuesday and then we had it back the day after some and uh, nine out of ten times we were really happy with it and uh, also uh, petrus granar who was in the band uh, tuck from hell with us um, is a, a co-writer on some of the older songs and um, yeah, like uh, that he wrote for Tuck from Hell, and uh, he, he's also back actually to do a, he did a guest soul on, on the track Death Row Child. It's the last track on the record, a uh, real fast thrasher. Um, yeah, so that kind of sums up the writing process, I think. I appreciate you explaining that, and mo that makes a lot of sense. And let's talk about the cover art. For me, it has a very uh, nightmarish kind of look to it. Who designed it, and who designed the band's logo? Yeah. Uh, the cover art uh, we got from the label, Metalville, uh, from our idea. We had, yeah, as you can see, our idea was uh, like a, a scene from the, Exor uh, the Exorcist. Yes. Uh, and uh, instead of a priest performing an exorcism, we wanted a demon playing the a guitar, a flying V, you know, over the the woman. So they did it uh, from that idea, and uh, I think it looks uh, really cool. Um, the logo was designed by by um, a local guy. Uh, called Matthias Hinders. He has done some uh, some cover art for Astral Doors and uh, Nils Patrick's solo albums. And uh, yeah, the 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 logo has been uh, around for for uh, a while. Uh, so I guess we, we had the uh, the logo before we kind of had songs under the banner of Reforia, you know, so. Yeah, yeah that's but, cool. Uh, yeah, so that's the guys involved. Appreciate that. And does Reforia have a plan to perform this music live? Is there a CD release party? Do you have live gigs coming up? Yes, we, we absolutely uh, 
want to perform live as much as we can. We have a festival in Sweden booked for the summer, uh, and uh, you know we uh, we would would like to play more festivals, but uh, we have released we haven't released the album yet, so uh, probably the offers will come <laughs> if we're lucky, and uh, then we'll. we'll probably work on getting some kind of support uh, tour during the later of 2024. Yeah, that's our plans, you know, we, I think uh, that's actually why we do this, because it's so fun <laughs> to play live. Right. And so we, with Tuck From Hell, we played a lot of live locally, and we we're actually pretty famous back then for, you know, energetic live shows. Marcus is a real badass on stage. And uh, yeah, Patrick has been around Europe for a lot of time. So uh, we, um, yeah, we, we look forward to play live and we will try to do it as much as we can as, and as much as uh, places want to book us, you know. That's good. Do you have anything booked already, or do you have any shows that coming up that we can spread the word on? Uh, we we have one this summer, but it's not official yet. So oh, I, oh. I will let you know when it's official. So, All right. Fair uh, enough. Fair enough. Yeah. And um, yeah, and then, then we hope for more festivals, you know, because I guess festivals are the uh, the best way to get exposures. LA exposure for for bands well, not not but not the best way but a really good way right so a lot of people there hopefully and that uh, haven't heard of you before in, in our yeah. case probably so I got you good luck with your future endeavors as far as doing live gigs and let's talk about oh of course let's talk about merch to support Reforia I want to give you a Reforia Facebook, that's facebook.com forward slash Reforia, and I see you have pre-orders on is it ginza.se forward slash product forward slash Reforia forward slash exorcism forward slash 157471 Yeah, I have some I think you can pre-order the album on, on a lot of places uh, I, I think it's on Amazon Music uh, maybe more, you know, gin size for Swedish. Uh, uh, it's a it's a big uh, web story in Sweden, but I think it's out on a lot of big, more, you know, worldwide kind of uh, stores. Does Reforia have a band camp? No, we have not. I guess uh, we will you... have to fix one. That would be a good idea, I think. <laughs> Yeah, you know, we have uh, trying to keep up with uh, all that stuff and also managing social media and uh, yeah, it's a uh, time consuming new new world out there. <laughs> yeah, right. And uh, what what kind of merch do you have currently available for the fans? Uh, you have the digital downloads, the CD and what else? Yeah, the CD, and we're gonna put up, uh, you know, T-shirts and caps. It's actually not online yet, but it's uh, it's uh, ready to to come up there. So uh, we are like in the in the beginning process of it all um, ar around the band, you know. Yeah, so I got you. I got you. Come. And the, does the band plan on making any music videos, whether it be lyric videos or? Uh, any kind of music videos yeah lyric videos for sure we did a lyric video for for the first single um cc cowboys and uh, probably we will uh, release a lyric video with the second single as well and um, no 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 regular music videos though for this one i think that those are really hard to get to be good when you're on a not on a high budget, you know. So uh, if you don't know someone that is really good at, at making music videos and, and can do it for um, cheap, you know. So right. uh, lyric videos, I like lyric videos myself, you know, to be and be able to follow the lyrics. And often nowadays, lyric videos 
look really cool. So yeah, I really think it's nice. a good alternative to a, to a regular videos, you know. So yeah, maybe any yeah. music videos in the future. So okay, good to know. And do you consider Euphoria a side project, or do you consider it a, a, a real band that's going to have a future? Yeah, it's a real band. When we started recording a couple of songs with Nils Patrick, we weren't really sure if we were going to release an album or maybe some kind of EP or uh, but as we uh, when we have recorded some songs and we were really happy with them, we said let's do this and um, do it the proper way, you know, release an album and uh, hopefully come out and play as much as we can. You know, his bands, Astral Doors and Lion Share, they don't really play live as much anymore like they used to do. So so he's got the time and uh, we, me and Paul and Magnus, we, we have the time to focus uh, 100% at, on Reforia as well. So, so okay. yeah, that's the... Oh, it is. And what can we tell the fans as far as what they can expect next from Reforia? Yeah, what they can expect next is uh, actually probably that we're, we're going to show up somewhere nearby so they can catch a show. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's what we hope for at least. And uh, we will uh, start post uh, stuff online so they can follow us on what we do. Uh, so... It's uh, an un unwritten page yet, but we we'll see. That's our plans. Okay, that's good to know that you have plans and yet you're working on new music too. That that's also very good. And yeah. uh, would you like to talk a bit about your drum kit? Do you like talking about your gear? Yeah, absolutely. I I'm a gear nerd. <laughs> there you As go. many musicians are, uh, I use um, I use. Uh, Tama drums, uh, black, of course, the you know metal kind of uh, drums and Sabian cymbals and uh, pearl uh, demon drive pedals and I actually got a I got a lot of snares but uh, my favorite is a, a pearl Joey Jordison signature uh, snare. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of in love with them. And uh, usually you try to not focus so much on your gear, but uh, <laughs> it is the way it is. And uh, I, I love to have uh, good stuff. And uh, yeah, I think they look pretty cool. And uh, I also usually have a, a upside down cross on the, on the drum. So really metal style, you know. Nice. And, uh, yeah. I can um, for 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 any potential drummers out there. I can also mention that my you know main influences are are a lot of the old legends. You know, Dave Lombardo is uh, he's my absolute favorite, and uh, that's uh, understandable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a beast, and he's still as good, or maybe even better than he was back in the days. You know. <laughs> Yeah, so that's, that's awesome to see, and he's uh, got so much energy, you know. Yeah, that's pretty much how my drum setup is, and my main influence. Well, I appreciate you spending time talking about that. And would you like to talk about what you do when you're not doing Reforia? Do you want to talk about any other bands you may have, or if you have like a regular job you want to talk about? Anything you'd like to talk about? Yeah, actually, we all have you know regular jobs, but uh, as far as bands, it's it's just Nils Patrick actually with, with his uh, his uh, different projects, and I know he's gonna do uh, a Dio tribute show in Stockholm with some of the Swedish you know metal elite. I know Fredrik Okeson from Opeth is gonna play guitars, and it's Anders and Jens Johansson you know from yeah, X Hammerfall, X Ingwe Malmsteen, X. Uh, yeah, that's for Anders and Jens. He's also he was with Dio for a short period, and 
Stratovarius and and some other famous names. So that's just one thing I I know is coming up. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. And at this time, would you like to say anything to your fans that are tuning in? Yeah, absolutely. First of all, I I really appreciate that they're tuning into this show and uh, listening to me talking about the album and talking about Reforia and um, feel free to reach out to us on Facebook or Instagram and and talk to us about anything. Uh, we really appreciate that and you know, social media is really important for band nowadays. And uh, if you listen to the album and you like it, you might consider buying the album and uh, it really helps bands a lot nowadays. Uh, if we can sell some albums, you know. So, yeah, I I, um, I hope you like the album. We do. <laughs> well, so do we. And uh, thank you. And uh, Frederick, I, I want to thank you for taking the time to be here to discuss Reforia with us. I think we've learned a lot about you and Reforia, but I want to make sure is there is anything else you care to mention that we have yet to discuss i want you to have every opportunity to talk about anything you want to bring out there to the listeners yeah i i think we have covered a lot so you know we're we're in the in the start of our you know we're releasing the first album now and probably and hopefully a lot of things will happen and uh yeah, I, I guess I will have <laughs> more to say then. <laughs> right. Well, I wish you and Reforia a, a great new year, and may you have a lot of success. And I hope that we could come back with every new album that you bring out, c- come back on Metal Meltdown to talk about it. We'll continue the support for Reforia and the airplay and everything like that. So may you reach your goals and keep in touch. Let us know about videos and shows and upcoming releases and we'll do our job and keep doing what you do thanks a lot and thanks for having me on this great show Uh, i really appreciate it and uh, thanks for the support you'll always have the support and let's go crank up some more reforia with music off of exorcism and let's crank it up loud (laughs) 